Hi YouTube, it's uh, NMK4 again. Um, what I'm going to be doing is showing you in this video how to restore um, your phone to a previous um, backup that we did with our phone. Um, we did a backup with the last video, so uh, what we're going to do is just show you how to restore your phone to a previous system image that we did with an Android and Clockwork Recovery Mod. Um, I should say Clockwork Mod Recovery installed on the phone. So um, the phone's booted up. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. I've only got one page for the home screen. Um, so if we go into applications, you can see all the applications are just there on the screen. You've got the super user and the CWM icons there, just symbolising that the phone is rooted. So what I'm going to do is just switch it straight off. And this particular image that I've got on the phone is just a stock image. There's nothing on it. All I've got is the the phone stock image and it's rooted and that's it so what we'll do once that goes off um, we'll go into the recovery clockwork mod recovery console um, by pressing the volume up home and then the power button together okay so that's now off what we'll do we'll go so volume up power and the home button together I'm gonna be holding these down all simultaneously until we get to the clockwork mod recovery console for some reason it goes through that screen twice but I hope there you go so I'll just bring the phone in closer to the screen so you can see it hopefully it will stay in focus okay so you can see there the options that it gives us um, if for some reason you don't have clockwork mod recovery install check out one of my other videos on how to install it or if you don't know how to do a backup again check out one of my other videos on how to do a backup but in this instance we're going to be doing a restore so what we'll do is we'll first of all go down to we won't go down to backup and restore we just want to make sure that everything's clear first so we'll go into mount and storage and then press the home button we want to format and make sure everything's clean first so we'll do the format cache first home button and then volume rocket down to go down up and down obviously home button to select it and then as you can see it says formatting cache done so next we'll do data all I'm doing is pressing the home button on the item I want to select and that you should see that takes a little bit longer than the cache but that's done as well so finally we'll do format system again that's fairly quick as well there we go now that we're done, to come out of this menu we'll press the power button once. There you go. And now we'll go down to backup and restore. We'll go to restore. The advanced restore uh, incidentally gives you options to uh, restore individual images for boot or system or data or cache or stuff like that. But we want to do a complete restore of everything so we'll just leave it at the, the second option down on the Android screen. Okay. Now what we'll do is we'll go all the way down and uh, to that one which was the one that we did earlier so we'll select it and by pressing home and it says confirm restore this cannot be undone yes restore we know what we're doing press the home button and then it says check in MD5 sums now this normally can take a little bit of a while before it even moves off that check in MD5 sums so don't be alarmed if it doesn't move for a while um, <clears throat> but if it doesn't move for say uh, I don't know three four minutes then uh, I'd be worried but it should come up with an error message either way if it doesn't decide to work while we're waiting for that to move across what I will say to you is um, it's very important when you're going from image to image that the clockwork mod recovery console installed on each image is the correct version like for example this one says version 4 um, you can't go from one image of being version 4 to the other image of being version 5 that will cause errors um, there you go that's kicked off now so that's going through the process um, like I was saying it will cause errors in the sense it will say files are missing or don't exist um, because clockwork mod recovery console version 5 um, uses dot tar files instead of dot image files um, which is what version 4 uses uh, version 4 only uses dot image files um, so just make sure that if you're going from one image to the other that the clockwork mod recovery console on each image is the same uh, otherwise it will cause problems for you 
but that's now started off nicely so what we'll do um, I'm just gonna fast forward this process because it can take a little bit of time and it's a little bit boring to be honest so I won't cut it I'll just simply fast forward it so you can at least see what's it doing on the screen okay now you can see it says restore complete um, so it's finished doing everything um, that was set in the system in the image previously um, it hasn't come up with no error messages which is always good so well, and it brings the menu back at the top of the screen so what we'll do is we'll just do reboot now by pressing uh, the home button there on this image the phone was still rooted so we should still see the yellow triangle there it is There's a boot up anyway. Okay. Now once it goes in, I should see. There you go, my pin. I'm just putting my SIM card pin. There you go. You saw my background image there, and you can see my 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 icons uh, there as well. We'll just let that boot up fully. It's just doing a media scan. Brilliant. So you can you saw how the phone was when I at the beginning of the video uh, with my wallpaper and I only had one home screen. I've got three home screens here, and you can see my wallpaper with all the custom links there. Okay, my icons there as well. If I go into applications, before you saw my applications on the stock image were just there. There's no folders, but here you can see I've got custom folders set up, and you can see that if I go into utilities, all my folders are there. Um, my social networking stuff is there um, online shops are there so customizations are still there if I go into my contacts you can see my contacts are still there as well so that's cool uh, all my emails are there as well if I look into the account yeah the emails account is there so <clears throat> that's how you do a complete system image um, on the Samsung Galaxy S2 um, with clockwork mod recovery and Android Okay. If you have uh, any issues at all uh, or any problems doing this, um, do comment below. But in order for this to work, as I said in the installation video, um, the phone needs to be rooted um, and then Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. Okay. You can either install it on its own or you can um, install it when you root the device. I've got. If you watch my routing video, the the ROM that I use there already has Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. It's a version five though. Um, so the newer one any comments or any questions please comment below um, please subscribe from the bottom up top um, give us a thumbs up if you like it um, and you can check out some of my forthcoming videos if you subscribe as well uh, this is Inamka4 and that's been a restore of a system image backup that we did with clockwork mod recovery thanks for watching and goodbye